there. It's great to have you back in the presence of God. It's an honor for me to be able to speak to you in this devotional program. And thank God for giving me this opportunity. And I'm very thankful to my Lord and Savior and my shepherd, Jesus Christ, for protecting me and preserving me and leading me in the right path in this season. Without the guidance of God, we can easily be led astray in this challenging times but if we are walking with our master we will be unstoppable in this time amen hallelujah i want to declare that i can do all things through christ who strengthens me hallelujah we need god amen hallelujah thank you jesus Thank you, Jesus. Today, I'm going to talk about Daniel's resolution. Daniel was a noble Jewish youth of Jerusalem taken into captivity by Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. When he reached Babylon, he was selected to be trained for three years to enter the king's service. The king ordered those Jewish young men to learn the language and literature of the Babylonians. And he also assigned them a daily amount of food and wine from the king's table. Daniel had to learn the literature, the language, and also the custom of the Babylonians. But he didn't live according to what the Babylonians live. He lived by the laws and commandments of God. Amen. Even though he was in a foreign kingdom whose religion is polytheistic. He remained faithful to God of Israel, God Almighty, amen. And he lived according to the will of God. He was assigned a daily amount of food and wine from the king's table, but he did not partake of those food and the drinks because those foods and drinks would defile him. He knew that the God he worships is a holy God and hates sin. Daniel knows very well that God hates uncleanness. Therefore, he kept himself pure by not partaking from the king's table. He asked the chief official for permission not to defile himself this way. But the chief official was afraid of the king, but because Daniel persisted and requested, finally the chief official consented to Daniel's request and he tested them for 10 days. So Daniel, Hananiah, Michelle and Azariah, they were tested for 10 days. They kept themselves pure. They just ate vegetables and drank water. They did not partake of food and wine from the king's table that would defile them. You know what happened after 10 days of testing? 
they look healthier and better nourished than any of the young men who ate the royal food, keeping the word of God and obeying the words of God can make our bodies healthier. Not only Daniel and his three friends looked healthier and better nourished, they also received knowledge and understanding of all kinds of literature and learning from God. God blessed them with knowledge and understanding. Amen. Daniel could understand visions and dreams of all kinds. We receive dreams from God, but sometimes we do not understand our dreams. But if we faithfully walk with God and keep ourselves pure and resolve not to defile ourselves with the things of the world, we will be able to understand visions and dreams of all kinds. Amen. Hallelujah. Right now, the world is offering us things that are attractive to our flesh, to our carnal nature. But we need to know that these things the world is offering us defile us. We need to avoid things that will defile our soul, defile our conscience. We need to keep ourselves pure. Like Daniel, we need to make a firm decision not to defile ourselves. God is a holy God. He sent His Son to die on the cross so that we can be righteous and holy before Him. The Bible tells us to be holy because God is holy. So every day, let us depend on the Holy Spirit to live a pure holy life when you have done wrong things repent before God and ask him to cleanse you of your sins and the precious blood of Christ will cleanse you amen in this world that is getting darker and darker spiritually let us keep ourselves pure resolve not to defy ourselves and shine as lights for we are the light of the world we are carriers of the light of god people are right now confused about who god is and about their origin and about their destiny after this life. We are the light of the world. Let us bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to those who are in the darkness. Amen. To those who are confused about who Jesus Christ is, let us tell them that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God who took away the sins of the world. Amen. Let us walk with the Holy Spirit in holiness and our knowledge and our understanding of the scriptures will increase and our relationship with God will grow. Amen. God bless you all.